Hi everyone, welcome back to our Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. We're gonna do your current energy tree. Let's see what's happening with you guys, what's gonna come into your life. This is a general reading, so see what resonates and what doesn't resonate. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Also, the white previous spells, and we have crystals, your intention, charge, and high vibrational. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's see the messages for you, Scorpio. Check out my another channel, which is I Enigma, where I do Scorpio and other reads as well. Okay. Other sign readings. Oh, I feel like you're disappointed with a lot of endings. Like, every time you feel like this is the one, things end up and you, you need to go for a positive uh, move on and you have to still keep that spirit high. And it's every time when the same thing repeats, it feels bad, right? You feel like it, you feel like giving up. You feel like, okay, let it be. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be alone. I don't care. That is what your energy right now is going through. I'm also seeing that you're slowly moving towards positive transformation because you've decided to make certain changes in your life. You're going slow, okay? You're going slow towards making uh, changes in your life, but you're making those changes in your life one after the other. So um, I feel like you're taking up one task and then following that and then going towards another task and then, you know, whatever work you're doing, whatever task you're being given, you're going to come out super successful in it. There's going to be a lot of growth. There's going to be a lot of popularity. That's going to be like name, fame, everything that you always wanted, Scorpio, is coming towards you. Now, the best part of this uh, picture, whole like spread is that someone is coming towards you with an emotional offer. There is passion there. Okay, this person is watching you and feeling emotional for you, but... They have a tendency to not stick around. Like, I feel the infidelity issues, okay? Like, right now they're very attracted. They're feeling emotional towards you, but it might not stay for a long period of time. They have a tendency to lose interest. Now, this is going to become a little more dicey for you. Now, this is a new person. Uh, this could be a Scorpio, maybe Aquarius. Every Sagittarius Leo feeling a lovey-dovey connection towards you, emotions towards you. Okay, they're attracted. Oh, I feel this is someone that you just let gone off. Like I feel recently you kind of shut the door on someone with a death card. I feel this person is missing you and they're not liking the energy without you. So they miss your presence, the way you came with so much of positivity and enthusiasm and so much of like charisma in your personality. There was something about your personality that they're missing and they cannot find in someone else. I feel you left this person, you stopped talking because you came to know that this person is looking for some fun. Okay, but let me tell you that since the day you're gone, they're not finding anything good. They miss you and they're feeling like they're in love. That's what I'm also getting. This person does watch you. Okay, let me tell you that. They do watch you. They do keep a close watch on you and they wonder what's going on with you. Someone wants to come with an apology, that's a show. Okay, you speak to me through music. I feel every time they listen to, you know, every time they switch the player, they always uh, want to listen to your favorite songs. And that's how they remind, uh, you know, themselves of you. But I feel like every time they do that, it gets toxic for this person because they know that it's, it's a past situation. It's gone and now there's no point of coming back going back there they have now realized that it was their fault and now they want to kind of clear the energies they want to they're very guilty someone is definitely very very guilty and they might come towards you in the in few days and tell you that they miss you and that they whatever they did was not right and they want to have another chance now over here what is up with you Scorpio what about you Scorpio yes I knew it I knew it Scorpio Scorpio once it's done it's done guys because Scorpio takes a t longer time to let go and once they let go it's all over so for you it is like it's done and you don't want to you know kind of like 
uh, dig the old grave. You don't want to do that. You don't want to go backwards. So you're just like, whatever it is, I don't care. That is what you're saying. You have decided to move on. You're meeting new people. You have a lot of options right in front of you. And you're going to be talking to them. You're going to be like dating them. You're going to be speaking with them and opening up your heart. So I feel you're going to receive a lot of proposals, probably more than two. But right now you're having so many proposals coming one after the other, one after the other, one after the other that you may get overwhelmed and you will be like, who should I decide? Who is the one? What should I do now? So you may get confused with these proposals. Like you will be like, oh my gosh, now what do I do? Okay, because it will become a fish market and you'll be like, everybody wants me, but I don't know who I want. That is the situation that will come in the near future for you. Okay. So our wishes are going to be accomplished with the fact that you're the chosen one and a lot of people want to know you, want to date you. Some of them are just waste of time. Some of them are worth it. But you're confused. You're like, now what do I do? Because this has become a fish market and I don't know who to choose, who not to, who to believe, who not to believe. That is a situation that will come into your life in the near future or this is happening right now. You have a lot more options right now. One after the other, all want to get to know you and you're like, what? Okay, with the lovers here, I'm seeing options here. Okay, a lot of options. Some of you, there is a particular Gemini that's very, very interested in you. That's making much more efforts than others. The thing is, you're finding it hard to trust. And you want some someone to do something unusual with you so that you know this is the one for me. That is something that is missed out. That is something someone is not doing and you're getting confused because you need to make a choice. You need to decide who is the one and you're not having that much of energy to, you know, give it to each one of them. So you're like, okay, how do I trust this person? There's no evidence or should I, should I not? If they're giving a lot of evidences or they're making a lot of efforts, do does this stay for a long term that is where you're going because what you are ready for now is what they might not be ready for now maybe you want a deep commitment right off the bat but this person wants to go slow with the flow and see how things move so because you both are seeing things a love life in two different perspective it's getting difficult for you to stay i'll stick around okay but i'm definitely seeing Time looks very, very promising. Someone is definitely going to make or hand out a marriage opportunity with you. Would like you guys may have kids together. This person will uh, hand out a marriage opportunity. Could be a Cancer Gemini or, yeah, Cancer Gemini. But there will be trust issues from your end, I'm seeing. Yes, you will have trust issues. You still want more and more and more evidence. You need more of this person time to see whether this is the one for you or not. This could be a Pisces. But what I can see over here is that maybe the past regrets and the past experiences have caused you to become too, uh, sh you know, short, uh, shortly interested or kind of like you don't want to take it too long to find, finally find whether this person is into me or not. You want a quick answer. But everybody has their own phases. I'm definitely seeing you do have some players around you. So you have to be cautious. You have to have complete picture about that person before you move forward. But yes, there is a seed of doubt inside of you which you need to work on. I'm definitely seeing how you're working on with the seed of doubt is by becoming successful in your own way. Okay, by being proud of yourself, by achieving big things, awards, rewards, appreciation, recognition. All of this is going to cover up the energy of insecurity or the fear you might be having of trusting someone. So I feel that way is you have more options coming towards you more forcibly or more aggressively. That is what you want. That someone should show me a clear 100% of interest. And that is how things are going to move forward for you. So if you want that... A little bit of efforts from your side, a little bit of patience from your side, and a little bit of hidden trial from your side is important. Okay. I'm seeing the color blue is very strongly coming out here, popping out here. You want to say a lot, but you have no words to the person that you might be interested in or the ones that you will be interested in and you are interested in. You're not able to speak exactly what's going on with uh, you and sometimes it what you say gets misunderstood by the other person they don't they're not able to understand what you're trying to say or how you're trying to say it. 
So this is also one of the things that they might get uh, offended or you might get offended. And there is a difference of opinion here. Misunderstandings also popping up. So be careful with your wordings. Four of Swords and the Temperance. A part of you wants to be free, like a freelancer, and another part of you wants to have a twin flame relationship, marriage, commitment, whatever you want out of this. But you definitely are not fully decided, not fully in alignment of marriage yet. So it all starts from the work inside. So the inner work is missing. And I feel like that awakening where you are and where you're ready to go with this experiences because they will hurt you as well and they will make your life, they will break certain things as aspects as well. So go slow, but be open to receive. I'm definitely seeing right now your uh, in your a uh, lot of options, yes, are very, very interested in you, attracted to you and want a new beginning with you. Wow. It's time for you to court. It's time for you to date. I'm seeing a lot of dating offers coming towards you. Someone older is making a solid move towards you. Five years older, I feel. Okay. For some of you, it could be like one year old. But this person is more mature in dealing with things and more successful than you are. Whoever is a man here is more successful. But some of you, this person is 33 or older. But 53 is also what I'm getting. But what I can see over here is that the one that's coming towards you is very concerned about long-term commitment. They don't want to stay alone anymore. They don't want to stay independent anymore. They want to get committed. That's what I'm seeing here. family someone in your family is too worried about you getting married or not they want to they want you to have the life of your dreams and your family is pushing things towards marriage they are helping you they're supporting you they're finding the match for you just like how asian cultures are traditional cultures are but i'm feeling like whoever you're going to find is something through you only not your family but Whenever this message goes out to your family that you found the one, they will be super happy. They will be extremely supportive towards you. So I feel like the one that you're attracting is more of a family person. They want to build a family. Finally, after a lot of search, you've found someone that wants to build a family. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. The one that's coming towards you, you will know that this is the one. There's a marriage proposal, guys. Out of all of these options, you finally have someone that's going to give you that marriage proposal that wants to have a family with you and is going to tell you that you're the one that I live for. You're the one that my you know life fills up with joy. And my love for you is very, very deep. So this person will reveal everything to you in front of your eyes aggressively, just the way you want, Scorpio. You want it to be more passionate, more intense, okay? Like a burning desire in someone's eyes for you. Keep an open mind, yes. I feel initially this person may come with an intention of just having fun. You never know, but keep an open mind, guys. That's a message for you. Some of you might be like, no, I'm only interested in commitment, but how before this person, they need to get to know you first. So I feel they will take some time though. They will not be instantly telling you, oh my gosh, I want to marry you and all of those things. It's going to be like they'll realize it in the course of time, the course of short period, not long time. They will be fun. There will be excitement. You'll, you'll treat them like your friend. You'll be very fun and frolic. And they'll realize that there's something more to this. And they'll try to figure it out what. And that will make them fall in love with you. So this is a beautiful like filmy or very cinematic kind of a falling in love love story you will be surprised you thought that this person is not interested because they will be like more of a flirty and you'll be okay whatever they'll be more of flirtatious okay but in the end of the day when they tell you that i love you you will be shocked okay this is going to shock you the moment they tell you that i'm like ah, i'm in love with you okay it's going to be the most exciting day for you when they say this to you There you go. Hostility is in the world. Wherever you go, no matter wherever you go, whatever you do, you will always have someone having an evil eye over you. Okay. 
So don't try to push these things away. Whenever there is light, there is darkness as well. So embrace all, both the things. Embrace both the part of life, both the sides of the coin. I feel like uh, your world is about to change, but there are a lot of enemies around you that don't want you to change, that don't, that don't want to see you having the world in your arms, okay? So you have someone, maybe this person is younger on an air sign or even older, but I feel like the more you're announcing your life, like more happy you are, vibrating higher, the more hostilities you will see around you, the more enemies will come towards you strongly. Okay, the more high vibrational you become, you will attract, not really attract, you will have more people's attention, negative attention towards you. How to deal with it? Embrace it. Because everything has two, two sides. There's light, there's darkness. Okay, there's heads, there's, there, there are tails. There's tails, okay. Oh my gosh, my conversation skills. Ten of ones and eight of ones. Oh my gosh. I feel you you have an unnecessary like you you have an issue of taking things too much on yourself unnecessarily. If someone is causing you stress, give it back to them. Like uh, whoever is causing me or whoever is sending me an evil eye, may universe send it back to the uh, person. So be it like this. You have to say things like this. Okay, may the energy be gone back to the sender. So what I'm seeing is you have a lot of enemies coming towards you, but the problem over there, the problem for them and the good news for you is that you're so shielded that it is just not affecting you. And that is why it's coming back on them. It's backfiring them. Whoever is throwing a negative light on you, it's backfiring them because you have a shield. Okay, so there's a lot of enemies around, guys. So st stop talking to each and every one. It's time for you to block these people. It's time for you to ignore them, avoid them. Don't talk to them. And just because you're not being a part in their life and you're moving on with so much of excitement, grace, and s success is coming towards you and touching your feet, they are all feeling like losers in front of you. And they're getting more and more and more and more and more and more intimidated by you. You're intimidating people without doing anything. Trust me on that. Let me see. What else can we see here? Some of you, there's a cancer interested. Family, counseling, animals. Ooh, these are the three things you want in your life, Scorpio. I can relate. What I'm seeing over here is that you have a natural inborn love towards animals. And your love for nature and animals and plants and everything earthly makes you uh, intuitive, makes you uh, connect with your inner self. And that is what everybody wants. Like you're not jealous. You're not, you're always, you always give thanks to others. You always pray, wish, you always wish good for others. You are not against anyone. And that is why you have so many hostile people around. I feel like you might be a counselor or the counselings that I'm giving through these readings are really helping you understand how life should be and how important you are as a person who you are and how things are rolling in your life. And that has calmed you down. And spending time with animals and getting some counselling, spending time with family is utmost important for you, Scorpio, right now so that you do not get drained. Spend as much time, quality time with your family members, pets, or animals, or get counseling from time to time. You, you can just do meditation. Only listen to the motivational part of life, nothing else. I feel like someone has kind ears uh, to listen to you, okay? And I'm also seeing very soon you're going to build family with someone that's an animal lover. Forgiveness heals. I feel right now you have come to the point of no regrets. You have no regrets. You're happy. You're, you're letting people do what they want to do. You're not uh, expecting any kind of revenge, uh, forgiveness, an apology, nothing. You just want to move on in life and do things for yourself. That's all that means to you right now. Tell me more about the Scorpio here. So you have started being happier on life form. You're in this hermit energy. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. See here. These readings, these storytellings are literally opening up your third eye so that you can connect with your inner guidance and lead your path towards the ultimate abundance. Whatever you want to be, whatever you think of yourself in five years down the line, whatever you want to be or what your life purpose is, you were so much confused. But these readings or the connection with the higher self has led you to go inwards and the spiritual awakening has started taking place. So you're recharging yourself very well through these readings, through energy healing of any kind. This is also a part of energy healing. And you might be also doing some yoga and meditation to help you heal. Okay. Very much in line with universe purpose. See? So you're able to imagine what your life should be like five years down the line, two years down the line, or however. You definitely are able to understand what your dreams are, what you want in your life. Okay. So your life purpose is very clear in front of you and you want to nourish your dreams and you want to go after that. You're not like lurking on confusing things or toxic people or toxic environment or stuff that just keeps you going crazy and in, in running in circles. You're coming out of all of that. Okay. All right, let me see. Uh... What else do we have here? The color yellow is talking about confidence here. You guys, I feel like you may have disappointments in love, but that doesn't mean that you're not meant to get married or meant to be in a lifelong relationship with. But yes, universe is taking you through some life lessons, some hidden trials to ultimately meet the one real soul who has captured your heart or whose heart you have captured. Okay, so before we end this, I want to pull out some signs you might be dealing with in the near future. Ooh. You have Gemini and Taurus that's coming towards you. Mm. You also have Virgo. If this is a Virgo, this person likes to be a loner and they're very successful. You could be having, oops, one more. You have Aries as well. One more, please. This also wanted to come out. Capricorn. If this is a Capricorn, super rich. And if this is a Gemini, very good communication. This will open your throat chakra and you guys will travel around the world a lot. So these are the things that I'm getting here for you. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment to this channel. And today's reading was one of the best reading. Do mention in the comment section how did you feel about it. And do boost this reading up 3x for your manifestation to happen as soon as possible by hitting like and do subscribe hit the notification bell tell your friends and family members to join this channel and help them grow bye